thank you, Dr. Sinan, Dr. Arora. So we are talking about fakic IULs, a refractive modality, which sooner or later every Please. refractive surgeon, or even a, a, every uh, ophthalmologist needs to be using this technique in the future, even at present. So I'll just give you some basic tips about implantation. So the axis of placement of the lens is very important if you're using a toric lens. Of course, you can use a slit lamp, but I, some fortunate people have the digital marking system. So I use the digital marking system and then the loading of the lens. So if you just saw that, just let me just take it back for a second. You, you, the, you see this uh, uh, foam tip, it has to be turned clockwise. And this is how you touch and hold the ICL and turn it clockwise to load it. So this step, a lot of people in the beginning find it very difficult. Then when you pull it in, you have to hold the lens in the exact center. If you pull it slightly on one side or the other side, then the loading does not come well into the nozzle. So this lens was almost in the center holding, but see the way the lens is coming out. It didn't load well. If it doesn't come out well, immediately take it out. Don't push it through reload it and then inject it. So once it is going in, the two ears of the uh, ICL should open up together and then you open it up in front of the RS and then push it all the way along. That's it, the insertion part is simple. Now putting it into place. So first thing is that you bring this lens along the axis at which you are going to implant it. Once at the axis, it is matching with the external uh, uh, marking points. Then you tuck in one haptic, the second haptic, the third haptic, and then reassess. That is your lens still in position. Because before you go in for the last haptic, your lens should be exactly in position and then tuck in the last haptic and the job is done. So now I'm reassessing after the third haptic. If there is some adjustments to be made, it is easier to make them now rather than all the four haptics inside and it has got a grip in the eye and then moving the lens within the eye becomes a little difficult. So you can best avoid it by being sure before you put in the fourth haptic. And then you check out the axis. If the axis is fine, the job is done. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you, Dr. Chaudhary. Very nicely uh, shown. Small little things, but that can comp if that doesn't that you don't do properly, it can complicate the things very badly.